In Bloom's T D6, there are many, many different types of towers that you can use. Each one of these towers has specific upgrade paths that lead to sometimes extremely powerful upgrades. And this can be said for every single type of tower. However, there is something you need to know about this game. The tier 4 and tier 5 upgrades are basically the same thing. The tier 5 just being much more powerful. Take for example, the attack shooter. You get the overdrive, which shoots a lot, but then you get the attack zone, which shoots a lot more. Blade Maelstrom, it shoots blades everywhere. Super Maelstrom, same thing, except better. Ring of Fire, shoots flames at balloons. Inferno Ring, basically the same thing, more powerful. Same thing you can find for basically everything else. Moab Domination is Moab Press, except it does a lot more damage. Primer Charge is Turbo Charge, except it makes everything permanent. Glaive Lord is more Glaives, except now Glaive Lord has three more Glaives. Sniper Monkey, Cripple Moab is main Moab, except it deals more damage and immobilized for longer. Elite Sniper is the same thing as Supply Drop, except it gives you more money and it gives a special targeting option. This works for everything, including things that you don't think actually uh, do this. For example, Special Poperations and Support Chinook. You might think that Special Poperations has nothing to do with Support Chinook, but just take a look at it. It's the same thing and it still has the same ability, but it just deploys a marine now. The same thing can even be said for Legend of the Night. You might think it's not true, but no, it's just, it's just a Dark Champion, except it deals more damage and it has the special Black Hole ability. Now in this game, every single Tier 4 and Tier 5 towers are linked, ever so slightly different, only a few differences. However, there is one unit in this game that does not follow that rule. Not even close. Now it's not Deadly Spikes and Perma Spike because this gives it extra 2 pops and this one becomes high damage. Now yes, basically every single unit is the same, right? No? No it is not. Balloon Master Alchemist does not obey this rule. The tier 4 option for Balloon Master Alchemist is Rubber to Gold, which has absolutely nothing to do with Balloon Master Alchemist. Rubber to Gold turns balloons into gold which pop for more money. But Blue Master Alchemist targets Moabs and shrinks them into red balloons, which has absolutely nothing to do with the tier 4 upgrade. Why is this? Why does the Blue Master Alchemist do this? It's not supposed to. Blue Master Alchemist obtains so many pops in such a short amount of time, but at the same time, it doesn't make any sense. Where in this does it say it makes more money? The whole point of Rubber to Gold is to make more money. Blue Master Alchemist doesn't make any money it deletes money because there's less pops from the balloons. It is very strange alright. Very strange indeed. It perhaps is the most overpowered unit in the entire game. But did Ninja Q intend this? Or was it just a glitch in the programming? Because this unit shouldn't exist.